in this video I'm going to show you how to download software that you may have purchased at one point and you either need it for a new computer and you no longer have the discs or you may have misplaced it or or for whatever reason you need to download the software again now in this particular example I'm going to show you how to do this legally and safely and the most important thing that you're going to need if you want to be able to download the software is the licensing information for the software so in this example I'm going to use Microsoft Office 2013 here's the scenario I had this software on a computer the computer broke and I don't want to pay for a new copy of Microsoft Office I already paid for it once so I'm going to legally download the software again because I still have the product key from the box but no disk now in this case you might actually have a link where you can go directly to the Microsoft website and download it in which case in Microsoft Office you can absolutely do that but let's just say for example that you don't have a link to download the software and you actually need to get it on your computer so all you're gonna do there's a website that you can use called BitTorrent what this does is this allows you to go out to the internet and download programs that you can then put on your computer and then when you install the software you then plug in your product key and you now have a legal copy again so what you have to do first go to bittorrent.com and when this page comes up you just click on client download and then in this case I choose BitTorrent Classic the free version right here and then you will be able to download the software so go ahead and download the software and once the software has been downloaded just click on it to run it and just follow the steps all the way through now in this case you want to this is an offer here for this adware you want to decline that decline the spy hunter just by unchecking that box click next and then you can leave these available if you want they just put icons on the desktop and load them into your start menu okay you want to leave all of these settings checked except this one to start BitTorrent when Windows starts up. That way it doesn't start every time you start your computer. Click Next, and there you go. Software has been installed. You just click Finish, and there is your BitTorrent client. Okay, This is the program that you use to actually download and track your torrents. Okay, Think of torrents as just collections of files. The next thing you're going to want to do before you actually start downloading is you're going to want to get a VPN. It's called a Virtual Private Network. And the reason for this is a VPN makes you invisible to your internet service provider, Comcast, Bell South, whoever. You don't want them necessarily seeing you downloading software. Now, in this case, it's perfectly legal to do so, but it's a good idea to use a VPN regardless. This is a short video I made about the subject and I would recommend you watch it. You can click the link above. I personally use a program called Nord, N-O-R-D, Nord VPN, as you can see right here. So go ahead and get that done. You can follow the steps in that video. It'll show you how to do that. At this point now, you are invisible to your internet provider. And now what you can do is go and actually download the software that you want. A site I recommend is the one I have been using for years. It's called the Pirate Bay. You can go to the piratebay.org and then when the search box comes up here, in this case we're going to use Microsoft Office 2013. As you can see, there are a bunch of copies of Microsoft Office 2013 online. First thing I always do is I sort the column here this column right here that says SE that stands for Cedars that means how many people have a copy of that software sitting out there for you to download the more Cedars the faster the download but doesn't necessarily mean that's always the best one in this particular website what you want to look for right here 
is these icons, these skulls, the pink skull or the green skull. What these are, these are, think of these as like Facebook badges where they say if you have a skull, you are a reputable user. In other words, you're not going to be downloading a bug from one of these people. Now, as you can see, this one is the first one of this list that has a skull, and it only has 24 seeds versus 114, but, so it'll be a little bit slower, but you know it'll be safe. So, at this point, choose the correct version, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, whichever one works for your system. You can click on it, and then you'll see you get information from the uploader about the software and all of that. Once you decide that this is the software you want, click on this link right here that says get this torrent. When you click on that, it's going to automatically open that BitTorrent client that you had downloaded earlier. In this case, you don't have to give it a label. I don't label everything here, but you can see here this is the office version that I just tried to download click OK and then you will see right here it begins to download and so I'm now downloading a copy of office 2013 and again I have a legal copy of this because I have a license for it so I'm not breaking any laws I'm not doing anything illegal Microsoft is hundred percent fine with this and this goes for any software on the internet not necessarily Microsoft software I'm just using that here as an example um, whether it's uh, you know a program that you downloaded years ago and you need to get it back or whatever you can use this software to download and then reinstall it on your system now I'm I don't need this software so I'm gonna just stop the download but normally it would just continue on the way through until it was ready and once it gets completed you just run it and then plug in your product key and then you are ready to go while I am still talking about this torrent website please understand that yes you can go legally download any software you own from here if it's available and it's 100% legal this is also the place where people download movies illegal movies pirated software this is all pirated stuff okay so for the record I would not recommend you do that same thing here with Windows programs these are all programs that you do not own and this is when you hear the term piracy or pirated software these are the websites that they are talking about okay so uh, but you know like whether it's in this case it's ebooks some of these may be free some of them may not but there are a lot of things you can get uh, specifically music a lot of people download music so if you look, you'll see, for example, if I wanted to find an Aerosmith song, which, by the way, this is legal also, if you, for example, had this album here, Aerosmith's Pump. If you own this album, you are legally allowed to have these files. So you could legally download this and you would not be in trouble. So it's just something to think about. You know, a lot of people have CDs that they've purchased and maybe they have the case but the disc is broken whatever you don't have to go buy a new one you could just literally go download it and again you have to be careful because that only applies to things you've legally purchased and you don't want to get in trouble by downloading something that is not legally owned by you that's how you can go legally download software that you have purchased and it's hundred percent legal and all you need is a VPN if you choose to and I would recommend the VPN is not actually required but it's a good idea if you like to download things off the internet but you do not need the VPN to download something off of a torrent site now there are a billion torrent sites out there this one is probably one of the oldest ones and this is one I've used for years for things that I've needed to re-download. And there is a ton of illegal software out there, and you can get in trouble for doing that. So please only download the things that you need to replace on your system. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. 
Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it if you click that like button if this video helped you. And if you'd like to see more content like this, click on the subscribe button so you can be notified anytime I make a new video with helpful information like this. So that being said, hope you have a great day and we look forward to seeing you next time.